Bindi Irwin was already following in the footsteps of her crocodile hunting father, Steve Irwin, long before he suddenly passed away at the age of 44 in 2006. And since then, she has proven to be a true chip off the old block, continuing his legacy while establishing her own. Here's a look at how nature ambassador Bindi Irwin has grown up. Nature Show Star when she was just eight years old, Bindi was given her own animal-centric docu-series, Bindi the Jungle Girl. Her father recorded appearances for several episodes of the show before his untimely death and had big hopes for his little girl's on-screen success. As a tribute to her father's life's work and message, Bindi and her mother, Terry, decided to carry on with her TV series after Steve's death and continued spreading their family's love for all living things. The show, which premiered the summer after his passing, earned her a Daytime Emmy Award for outstanding standing performer in a children's series at the age of nine. Picking up the torch When Steve Irwin was fatally wounded by a stingray barb while filming another show, his daughter braved the big crowd during his memorial service at the Australia Zoo to deliver a touching spoken tribute to her father. During that celebrated speech, the pint-sized Bindi announced her own intention to carry on his mission. I don't want Daddy's passion to ever end. I want to help endangered wildlife just like he did. Shortly after the memorial service, Bindi and her mother were chosen to represent Australia's tourism interest abroad. They appeared on Larry King Live, at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and even on The Late Show with David Letterman to tout the outback and to spread her father's message. Entrepreneur As part of her efforts to promote the Australia Zoo, Bindi hosted a reality competition called Bindi's Boot Camp and also made guest appearances on a number of other shows, appearing on Today, John and Kate Plus 8, The Oprah Winfrey Show, Live with Kelly, The Bonnie Hunt Show, and The Ellen DeGeneres Show to talk about her family's work. But she didn't stop with television. In addition to designing her own clothing line for the zoo called Bindi Wear, she also launched a series of educational young reader books called Bindi Wildlife Adventures and penned an autobiography called A Year in the Life of Bindi. So, what have you done lately? She's also an actress. Considering her proven charm and grace on screen, it wasn't long before Hollywood started setting its sights on Bindi, recruiting her for small acting roles in a number of movies and TV shows, most of which were still on brand with her conservationist endeavors. First came the straight-to-DVD production of Free Willy, Escape from Pirate's Cove, then an episode of My Babysitter's a Vampire. And her first full-length feature film was 2013's Return to Nim's Island, which had its premiere, of course, at the Australia Zoo. Yeah, I'm so thrilled that we we get to hold the premiere here at Australia Zoo in my home. Sticking up for SeaWorld While Bindi supports several ecological organizations, primarily wildlife warriors, she came under fire after announcing she'd work on kids' programs with the U.S.-based aquatic theme park SeaWorld in 2014. The park has become increasingly scrutinized since the 2013 documentary Blackfish, exposing the hidden dangers of keeping killer whales in captivity. People for the ethical treatment of animals even spoke out against the entire Irwin family for her association with the company, blasting them for exploiting animals for years. Even her own grandfather spoke against the company after her association was announced. Despite the bad press, Bindi has since done educational webisodes and personal appearances at the parks as planned. We are so excited to be bringing Generation Nature live to everyone here in Orlando. Dancing Star Bindi's flair for the Crocodile Rock was apparently programmed at birth, but that wasn't the only dance she mastered during her stint opposite Derek Huff on the 21st season of Dancing with the Stars, and Bindi ended up winning the show. She credited her father for her love of moving and grooving to music, telling the Washington Post, My mom says anytime dad would watch me dance around the zoo, he would cry. I think the real reason I'm doing this is to make him proud and everyone back at home in Australia proud. Outdoorsy Boyfriend Bindi's long-term boyfriend, American Chandler Powell, is a professional wakeboarder who has no shortage of respect for her father's legacy, calling Steve Irwin the greatest wildlife warrior to ever have lived. The Daily Mail reported that Powell, who met Bindi during a 2013 family visit to the Australia Zoo, has been ring shopping, but Bindi dismissed the rumors. I, I don't think I'm at a point in my life where marriage and getting engaged is really a, a 
huge priority right now for me. Maybe, maybe in five years. For now, Bindi, who celebrated her 18th birthday in 2016, is still focused on her mission of wildlife conservation, frequently urging on her Instagram followers with inspirational messages, such as this one reminding us all that we have one planet, one chance to create a beautiful future for those yet to walk in our footsteps. Like father, like daughter. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.